Hey everybody, it's Chasey Boo, and today I'm going to be doing another review for Trans Guy Supply. So, in the past, I've actually reviewed the Lou STP, and I have stated that this is my favorite STP that I have ever tried. And for me, that's saying a lot because I have like all of the ones that exist, and I've tried. I don't know, 35, and I can proudly say that the Lou is literally my favorite STP. It works amazing for me, and I love it. Now, Trans Guy Supply actually has another STP that is out that is called the STP Freely and the STP Freely XL. So I want to focus on that one in this review and talk about it a little bit and kind of show you the differences with the Lou and why the Lou is still my favorite, even though the Freely is also very good. So just to give you a little refresher, this is is what the Lou looks like, all right? It, like this, it comes in like five different colors. It's very easy to just pack with and to pee with. And this is what it looks like. To me, this is just amazing. Now, this is what the Freely looks like, all right? Very similar. You'll see right away, there are definitely some similarities. So the main difference that I see is that the cup on the Lou kind of is up a little bit more, whereas this one is slanted. I'm a big fan of the up because I don't feel like I actually have to hold it up, so that's why this one is better for me. But anyways, let's focus on the Freely now and kind of talk about it a little bit. So it comes in five different colors. It's $45, which for an STP is amazing. I feel like STPs are a minimum of like $80 now. They're so expensive and some of them just like don't work well, so you're spending a lot of money on something that isn't going to work for you. Now, of course, it works for some people, but just not for everybody, and that is what sucks because they're expensive and you have to go through like five before you find a good one, or like me, 35. So I don't want you to have to go through 35 of them. All right, so let's talk about the Freely and see if maybe that's the STP for you. So it comes in five different colors, and it comes in an uncut and a cut version over here. The Lou, from what I know, does not come in an uncut version yet. I'm hoping that they do because I'd like that more, but here is this here. Kind of look at the difference. Now the Freely also comes in an extra large. I know this is a lot of information in this video, but I really just want to show you everything so you get all of the facts. So there's a big difference. Now on camera, it might not look like a big difference, but let me tell you in person, it is definitely a big difference. So if I try to like really show you, there is a big difference. Now let me tell you, what I really like about the XL is that it's made for people who are bigger. And the thing is, you're wondering, why does that matter? It's a huge problem with STPs. If you're a bigger person, putting something between your legs, sometimes you actually can't even reach the, the tip of it to be able to aim it. And that's a big problem because some people don't think about that, but that's a problem in this community. There are people with bigger bodies that like need a little bit more longness over here so that they can hold on to it. So that's why the Freely exists. It also exists because you can have sex with it, but I think that the main purpose is so that it has a bigger cup, you can actually fit it underneath your legs, and this is bigger so you can have aim. So if your stomach is a little bit bigger, your thighs are bigger, the hips are bigger, you can still reach and aim this, which I really, really appreciate. This is the only company that I am aware of that I have seen that has actually taken bigger bodies into consideration when making and designing an STP. And that right there says a lot about Trans Guy Supply in a very, very good way, and also says a lot about other companies that haven't even factored that in. So I want to take a second to really appreciate that Trans Guy Supply did this because I think that this is groundbreaking for a lot of people. Now, it doesn't necessarily mean that this is the SCP that's going to work for you 100% if you're a bigger person. However, it is a good option because it is longer and you can pack with it and it is literally designed for that. Anyways, let's move on. All right, so in terms of peeing with this, because that's the main part of the Freely, I do really enjoy the shape of it. I like that it goes down and that this is already down and it is nice to aim with. Again, the Lou is still my favorite, but this is also a very good like second, which is impressive. So a lot of people wonder like, do you just put this in underwear? Do you pack with it? How do you pee with it? So what I'm gonna show you right now is what it looks like in just regular packing underwear. And these packing underwear are from Trans Guy Supply. They're their brand cake bandit. And I'm also going to show you what it looks like in their STP underwear that has kind of a fly so that you can take it out and pee.
So as you can see, the boxers are very easy to use. There's like a compartment inside that you can like easily put it on. I'm actually gonna show this in a little bit more detail and show you like exactly how it places it on my OnlyFans page. This is literally stuff that I cannot show on YouTube because I will get banned for the rest of my life. But on OnlyFans, I'm free to actually show you exactly what I'm talking about and how to place it and where it goes. So I'm gonna be doing that in my OnlyFans video. So please, if you are interested in that, I will put that link in the description below. I also wanna show you what it looks like if you want to use like a packing sling instead. So so this is going to be from my pack and they make an STP strap that you can use. So I kind of want to show you what this STP would look like in there. So I can't actually show you everything, but I can show you what it looks like and then put underwear on top of it, if that makes any sense. I know that that's a little bit weird, but again, I'll show that on my OnlyFans page. I cannot show it on YouTube because it's going to be my body. So the other thing I want to say is you can buy this packing strap here from Cake Bandit, all right? This is from Trans Guy Supply. I'm going to be 100% honest, all right? I have been trying to figure out how to use this packing strap for hours, for days. I look at the image online and I try to imagine how do you put it in here because in the image it looks like the prosthetic goes through here and then it goes in here and then this goes down there and it holds because it's you're holding it all right so this is what it's supposed to look like so like that makes sense to me but to me it's just a little complicated to like get it in the strap at first but honestly like i said you just need a lot of practice and looking at that image was like what am i looking at but as a packing strap for an stp like it does it does what it's supposed to do but it just takes a little bit of time to figure out so i will review this strap separately eventually when i kind of figure out all the kinks of it and figure out exactly how to use it and tips and tricks but for right now i'm just wanted to show you that it is available on their website that you can get and the last part of the freely is that you can use it as a pack and play and an stp so i get a three in one because you can buy this rod separately now this rod is made for the extra large version all right because when you put it in like it fits nicely in the hole right here. The problem is though that it only ends up to here. So the whole head is a little bit like it's a little harder, but it's still like squishy. So I was like, let me try to put it in the regular freely and see if that would work. And lo and behold, it does. Now the thing that you need to know is that now because it's actually all the way up here, you just have to be careful because you don't want the rod to go through. Now I think that that's the reason why they say you can only use it with the, ex the extra large one because they don't want it to pierce through and I guess like that's very dangerous. I mean not I guess, obviously that's dangerous and you don't want to do that. So I would just be a little careful. You could always put kind of like a cotton ball in there and then put that in there, but it is an option that you can use this as for sex, all right? In my opinion, you absolutely could use the small one or the extra large one for sex if you get this, which again is separate. All right, I think that's it. There's a lot of information in this video, but again, I'm really a big fan of Trans Guy Supplies STPs. Like they make some good stuff. Like they really know what they're doing when they're designing this. The Lou is my favorite, but the STP Freely is a close second. And I definitely recommend taking a look at it and seeing if it might be a right fit for you, especially since it's only $45, which is a fantastic price point for an STP that actually feels very soft and is made out of 100% silicone. All right, thank you so much for watching and I will see you later. Have a great day, bye.